Holder of Destruction. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Destruction. The worker will hastily throw a small key at you. Upon closer inspection, you will notice an odd pattern of what looks to be teeth marks. Walk up the staircase to a door. This door will be black and charred and yet still standing, an ever-present reminder of what lies ahead. As you walk through the hall, you will see screens, each depicting the violence and destruction that has run rampant through our history. The bloodshed of nations past and times of chaos in the present, all will be shown. Do not stop and stare, lest your eyes bleed from their sockets until the husk of your body lies in a pool of your blood at the floor. Do not attempt to identify the source of the images most dire, lest you be transported into the scene and destroyed. Continue walking until you come to a hole in the floor. From this hole protrudes the arms of all who have been destroyed in conflicts from all of human history. Their shrieks and screams may incite you to pause and lament, but do not do so. Do not stop near this hole, and do not think of these lost souls, lest the arms of the departed pull you into the hole of the abyss. As the corridor comes to an end, approach the door to the last room. As you stand before it, the wood shall splinter and you may enter. A very large man, sitting in a chair facing away from you, shall greet you as you enter. Should you attempt to walk around the chair, the giant shall break through the floor, taking both himself and you in the infernos below. He knows the answer to only one question. If you so choose, you may ask of this giant. Who can it save? The giant shall remain silent, for none are worthy to know the answer. If you grow impatient and implore the giant again, he will declare, Surely not you. At this point, the giant will stand and walk away. After searching around his now abandoned throne, you shall find a small golden hammer. Touching the hammer shall transport you out of the room and back on the street. The hammer has no weight unless you wish to use it. Using it will cause it to become so heavy that upon first strike you shall hurl yourself through the earth and into the pits of hell. While the hammer cannot create, by merely possessing it, all before may one day crumble to the ground. Your impatience has allowed you to continue the search, but has further damned you from salvation. This is Object 5 for 5.